What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Lynn here with an unboxing for you all. Yes, I am late to the party, but hey, it's better late than never. We're going to be doing an unboxing of the Nintendo Switch. And I will do a separate video installing the SD card and going through that process. And I will do a separate video on Pro Controller. <laughs> and I will do a separate video on installing the screen protector. So yeah, I think that's about it. And we may do a couple of comparison videos to the Switch cartridge versus the Vita versus the 3DS cartridge. So I'm going to be bringing y'all a lot of content today. <coughs> so be sure to um, hang around for that. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this unboxing of the Nintendo Switch. As you see, I have the regular one. Um, now, how this went down is I was in a podcast. We did a podcast directly after this presentation. Um, you can go back and watch that podcast if you so choose. Uh, I will link it down below. During the podcast, uh, the Switch actually went up for pre-order. The first one, this was at Best Buy. The first one I saw, of course, was this particular version. It was a while later that I saw the other version, so I ended up keeping this one just to be on the safe side. And um, yeah, so here is the little information here on the side to tell you what is included in the box. And of course, you've got the Nintendo uh, logos and stuff here. Um, and you know what? I know this may be a little bit of um, like a like an issue to some folks, but I like the fact that I can actually just sit here and open it without having to have a um, <coughs> a uh, a sticker that I need to fool with because that makes it a lot easier to be honest. So here's the steps here. It tells you to plug it in. It tells you how to set it up. And if you need help, you can go to this website here, support.nintendo.com forward slash switch, switch forward slash home. And um, here, this product is covered by Nintendo Limited Warranty. Again, support uh, support.nintendo.com forward slash switch forward slash warranty. And then here, this is telling you how to attach Joy-Cons, how to deattach. Deattach, is that a word? <laughs> the Joy-Con. I did order a uh another set of joy cons i ordered the neon set and let me tell you something walmart y'all need to get it together how are you going to have a pre-order and ship it out on the date that it's supposed to come out mm. anywho i digress now the thing with best buy that i've never had an issue with is when you pre-order an item you get it on release day meaning zelda will be coming to my house today enough said all right so let's go ahead with the rest of the unboxing and look i'm gonna tell you something right off the bat this looks like one of those cheap little tablets that i would buy to do little reviews on oh let me see everybody gotta smell it okay and um so yeah, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's little, I mean, okay, okay, okay. Here is the cartridge, here is the system, let's see, what's the better way to look at this? They're about the same height, so almost, I think the switch is a little bit shorter, I wish I was a little bit taller, okay. And then, um, they're about the same thickness, it seems. They're about the same thickness. Yeah, they look to be about the same thickness. They're almost the same size. So if you've held a um, Switch game, you've held the Switch, so to speak. As you see, there's uh, lint all in, on it already. And anywho, we have the power button here, volume rocker, vent, port 
3.5 millimeter headset jack and then the game cartridge slot so i like that they still have these it puts me in the mind of you know the vita um so that's cool on the back we have nintendo uh the nintendo switch logos here then you have support.nintendo.com so that's cool more vent ports here the usb-c connection here i like that this is a little contrast that that's nice and then the kickstand flips out there's a little rubber foot down here and it kind of and then here's where you insert your micro SD card. Again, I will do a separate video on that, showcasing that for you guys. This is gonna be, I'm gonna have to, this, I don't like this guys. This is a little OCD moment. Pull that to the side and we'll pull out the Joy-Cons. This is my very first time guys, touching a Joy-Con, <laughs> touching the Switch, you know? And I'm gonna tell you something, this is actually, a nice color it's like a smoke gray I like it and they I'm gonna tell you this though they feel cheap I'm not gonna lie they feel cheap um, plus and minus here uh, but yeah it IR sensor here do they put stickers no there's no stickers on it Okay, so as someone had stated, <clears throat> if you take your 3DS, turn it sideways, that'd be about the size of the Joy-Con. And I would say they're about right. It stick, it juts out a little bit further than that. So yeah, I guess they're about right. It, it's about, it's about the same. So yeah, as you see, this is what I've been playing. But um, so yeah, let's go ahead and attach these right quick. Now there's an animation. I think I want to do that first. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it on. This is probably an odd thing, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut it on. Then I'm going to attach the Joy Cons. Hopefully it'll make that really cool switch sound. Okay, so it's telling me to do it. Hopefully it'll make it. Let's see. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. Did y'all hear that? Listen, 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 listen. Ready? Oh, you didn't do it. You did it on the first one. All right, let's see. We're gonna try this again. That's amazing. Oh, it kind of vibrated a little bit. Nice. You know, okay, I'm going to tell you something. This feels, it feels odd to me holding it like this. And I hope, like, it, it doesn't feel like it's going to break, but it, it doesn't feel all that secure. To me oh what did I do what did I do oh it makes noise oh I love that so but look look at that contrast that's actually not bad guys that is actually not bad at all so we're gonna put this over to the side for now and we're gonna go ahead and get with the rest of the unboxing see what else is in here of course we've got the end users license that no one ever reads so I'm not even gonna even bother on this side I and look I've already uh, put up my um, my uh, there's that Nintendo written on it my uh, Wii U I am getting breath of the wild for the Wii U but I'm not opening it for the Wii U um, I'm going to just leave it sealed and keep it packaged with my Wii U and um, yeah so we have the HDMI cable here 
that off to the side, move the switch, put that off to the side there. Then we have the power cable. See how long this cord is. Well, it's long enough. Nintendo and guys, I did order another one of these. This is why. Uh, when I take my Switch with me, I didn't want to purchase just any old USB Type-C connector because you want to make sure that it's compatible with your device, number one. Number two, you want to make sure that it's not going to overcharge or undercharge your device. So rather than purchase a cheap USB Type-C connector, I went ahead and paid the $30 to purchase the official power cord. So this way, there's no issues, period. I'm good. Um, and I suggest that if you guys decide to do the same, you know, in reference to, um, oh, they put them back here? There's only one back here. Where's the other one? Oh, it's on this side. Okay, so if you guys, in my opinion, you know, I would say to just pay the additional money for that peace of mind to know that um, you know it's gonna work for your device. So, and you see here there's like a little teeny nib that juts out when you push the button. Okay, they want $8 for these, but okay. Next we have this does not charge the switch. I'm sure all of you know that, but for those of you who don't, um, this is just to, so you could play it in, um, you know, use it as a controller, but this does not charge your Joy-Cons. You have to have a special, uh, it looks just like this, that charges your Joy-Cons. So that is about, I wanna say 30 bucks. Uh, to get the charge one, the one that charges. Last but not least, we have the docking station itself. And it's small too. Um, but one thing I do like is that you can purchase all of these things separately. So say for instance you have a Switch and you want to be able to play it in multiple rooms, you know, dock it or whatnot. You can actually buy this um, in the store separately for like, I want to say it's like 80 or 90 bucks if I'm not mistaken. And that way you can have one in one room, one in another room, dock it from one place to the other. And while docked, it'll charge your Joy-Cons. So yeah, that's been an unboxing of the Nintendo Switch. What I'm going to do now, uh -oh. what I'm going to do now is, um, that's the wrong one is um how about that cancel so what i'm going to do now is set this up and let it do its update and let it do its thing and then i will come back to you all with another video be sure to stay tuned and if you are not currently a subscriber to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos coming here in the near future this is lynn aka ipod one reviewer so next time guys take care be safe love one another and I'll see you all on the next one.